Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need a bowl, we're gonna need some glue, some water, and this thermoreactant pigment. Do you know how hard this stuff is to actually find? <laughs> also, I forgot to buy starch, because I don't really know what starch is, so I guess we're just gonna ignore that. So it says four ounces of glue, and this one is 16, so I would need a fourth of this. Okay, I guess uh, we'll just guesstimate this a little bit. Yeah, sure, I guess that's, uh, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> now I gotta get one third cup of water. This is one half, so I guess I need a little bit under that. So like that's about a third. There we go. And I don't have liquid starch, so we can't add that. And then one half a tablespoon of thermo reacted <laughs> pigment. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's such a mouthful. Yeah, so that's like almost all of it. So I guess put that in. I really hope that not putting starch in there doesn't affect this at all. I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, I'm starting to think that I may have to go and get some actual liquid starch right now. Okay, well, I guess I'll go do that. 20 minutes later. Okay, I got the starch. I also got some proper measuring cups because I didn't have any before. Now, one half of a cup of liquid starch. Easy peasy. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is gonna help a lot. Oh my gosh, that's already turning so fast. What? So I think the reason that that happens is because apparently starch is like a material that binds fibers together And I think it just binds all the fibers and the glue to make it into like this kind of slime thing And then of course you give it water that way it doesn't dry out But like look at these are just all fibers. This is just a very fibrous liquid now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more thermo reactant powder to it. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my goodness If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. I feel like it doesn't quite look the consistency that the other slime did So we're gonna go ahead and break out our Mixitron 5000 Oh my goodness, this was an awful idea. I think I need to add some more glue. Dude, this is so weird. Wow. This is so interesting. I've never like played with such a weird slime thing. Anyway, apparently if I put something cold on it, it'll change color. What the heck? It didn't change color at all. Did I do it wrong? It's not changing color. Did I buy the wrong kind of pigment? Maybe it's not when I get it cold. Maybe it's when I heat it up. Nope, that definitely just burned it. Just very bur Oh my god, it's so solid now. I'm gonna try it a little bit farther away. This one turns white whenever it gets hot. Wow, that's kind of cool. And then there's the burn part. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out like this, maybe. Oh, it's starting to kind of turn a little bit more blue, see? I'm gonna let this sit for a second. Maybe that'll do it? I don't really know. I'm gonna try putting the rest of the pigment in there and see if that does anything. I don't know if I'll be able to now that it's like all mixed up, though. I notice when it's heated up, it's a lot more, like, white. So I'm gonna let this heat up in my hands for a little bit, maybe. I'm gonna let this kind of flatten out, and I'm gonna use the blowtorch on it see if that does anything. Wow. Yeah, I definitely think that it, it, it works better when it's like, hot. dude, that's kind of cool. So apparently mine reacts to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I was supposed to get the one that reacts to cold. <laughs> Oops. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part where I recreate the thumbnail. Yay! So for this, I'm actually gonna use a monster can because I actually don't drink water bottles. <laughs> I only use this canteen for water bottles because I think water bottles are just kind of wasteful in general. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the slime and then I'm gonna put it on this thing and then we basically have the thumbnail. Here we go. Now let's watch that change color. Whoa, that's so cool. That's awesome. Okay, I guess we have our thumbnail.